You guys saw me fix my sleep mask yesterday. This is how it actually fits me now. <laughs> I've been branded. I was telling you guys, this guy's been extra rambunctious since baby brother moved away. And last night, I found this on the floor and this on the floor. Those are supposed to be up here. And then this porg, which he took from that record stand. You need a playmate again, buddy. All innocent children had better beware. She's like a spider waiting for the kill. Look out for Cruella de Vil. Still plugging away at yesterday's to-do list, but I got my masks done. Hooray! And now I'm going to put all my sewing stuff away for a while. For kitten reasons. Figured out my Rogue One problem from yesterday. I wound up watching half of Rogue One so I can watch the other half today and have that sweet ass New Hope transition. I know you guys are so worried about that. <laughs> Well, hello, PMS Acne. Another pre-kitten project I'm trying to get done is I've been going through all my garb and like cleaning it and steaming it, just kind of getting, getting it all together. There's a lot of strings and danglies and stuff, so I just figured I'd take advantage of the time I have now and do it before there's a little one kind of scratching at it. Kenobi doesn't bother any of that stuff, so I'm fine. But I thought I'd show you guys some of the garb I have together right now. I have my skirts on this side of the garment rack. This is a bustle from Amsel in this dress. The great majority of my corsets are from Damsel, actually all but this leather one. And then this beautiful blue skirt is also from Damsel. Everything else just came from the thrift store. Ooh, actually I think this one came from Burlington Coat Factory. But as far as skirts go, I really haven't paid more than like $10 for any of the ones I have except for my fancy damsels. Fancy Damsel, new band name. I've got my corsets on this side. I have one Vixen in this gorgeous blue. I was nervous to get this style because I wasn't sure if I was gonna enjoy the fit of it. I thought it might pull on my shoulders too much. This is actually the most comfortable piece I own. I'm obsessed with it. It does wonders for my posture. I love this. So I'd like to get another Vixen at some point in time. This is the one that just came in. I actually still have to message her about it. She had a big Harry Potter sale, so I was gonna try to wait until some of the madness from that died down. I felt like I'd get a faster answer, but this gorgeous blue and red with a super fun kind of chevron inside. I have this brown kind of plaid style. I thought this would be fun to do Doctor Who garb with, and the inside of this is stunning. I do wear all of these inside out. I have a very pretty mustard floral with a green stripey inside. This is the one I use for Ravenclaw and the texture on this is beautiful. It's like a velvety material and the inside is like a gray blue floral. This is the only licensed one I have. It's Star Wars, obviously. <laughs> Super cute. I might have to put it on for the fourth. And then the inside is this fun, really sturdy blue gray material. A little orange zebra. And the inside of this is this really fun striped pattern. I think this is the one I've worn inside out the most so far. Then this beautiful red with a baby blue. And the inside of this is a red satin. That is amazing for cosplay. I didn't bring down any of my shirts. I really don't have that many tops. I have like maybe three that are good for it. So I think that's the next thing I really need to start thrifting when I can thrift again is looking for good like peasant tops to go underneath all these corsets. I am also always looking for the color blue in garb, which is weirdly not the easiest to find. Uh, so if anybody has blue garb that they don't want anymore, let your girl know. Don't mind me. Just Windexing my uh, potion bottles. I finished the big toy shelf and now I'm on to pulling everything off of the potter shelf and getting it cleaned up and maybe a little rearranged. So I'm hoping to get that done today. Ooh, there's like a food coloring glob in this one. That's kind of creepy. And then vacuum and then I'm feeling mostly pretty good about the state of the living room. Also my magical candlestick holder broke. Like the screw just broke off. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. <laughs> All right, 
Potter Corner is looking good, and sorry spoilers, everyone's about to die in Rogue One. Damn. What is it they've sent us? Help. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Mind your business. On to New Hope, yay! <laughs>